you don't need anyone else's help. Your backup has just touched down in the capital. They're currently en route to you as we speak. They should be with you in about three hours. Just in time to clear up. We've opened up the air corridor for Yosef's extraction. The task now is to find Yosef Preboy and bring him out for debriefing. Your objectives are threefold. Infiltrate the installation without overly raising suspicion. Locate and free Yosef Preboy. Our agents have been on surveillance for the last 20 hours. They took this footage. I believe Yosef to be held in this building. He should be held in the basement. Once you have Yosef in custody, escort him back to the FRV for chopper dust off. This level always kind of gave me trouble as a kid. I was much younger at the time, of course, so I don't know. Maybe I had trouble processing such a large level. It is. It can be kind of difficult. There, there are snipers in this level. Um, there's a couple of them actually. There's three snipers, and they've they have pretty good spots for snipers. So. They they get a good view of you. One of them's up in that water tower there. You really just want to make sure that they can't see you at all. If you can help it anyway. Uh, like I've said before, the, uh, the AI in this game, they can see you from a mile away. And they can shoot you from that mile away pretty easily too. So, just gotta be careful. There we go. So I'm going to try and not alert his attention. Oh, or alert him. There, so he's out of sight now. Now he's circling back around, so he might actually see me. I'd really rather him not. Now I'm not actually going to go through that way. I'm going to come back around later. Uh, for now, I'm taking the long route. Um, because we are playing on hard, it's... It's pretty imperative that we don't... Let the snipers see us. So, going through that kind of front door... Y you're, you're asking to get sniped. And the sniper's a really powerful weapon. As you saw in the first level, it is it is a one-hit kill on the enemies. It's not quite that powerful in their hands. But they are... I do have a guy shooting at me now. Yeah, so that's one of those snipers. See, so that, that one bullet took a good chunk. I got him down now. And like I said, there's a guy at the top of this water tower here. It's actually going to give me a perfect vantage point to take out a lot of the trouble that I'm going to run into before I run into it. A lot of the guys just hanging out in the center over there. I should be able to take them out nice and easy. Now I need to take this guy out first. Um, do note that he should be the first person you kill, because if you don't and you're just standing here shooting guys, he's going to turn around and see you and start shooting. Also note you should not kill this guy, at least not from up here. There's really not much point. You're never actually going to go into that area. Um, same with that guy. There's really no point in going into those two areas. And there's a camera that we can't see that's actually watching that first guy there. So if we shoot him, then the cameras are actually pretty smart in this game. It'll pick up on that he's been shot, and it'll set off the alarm. And if we set off the alarm in this level, what happens is uh, we get a bunch of 
black suit, red beret guys coming out. Now there are actually, um, it's kind of interesting, there's two, two separate alarm systems in this level. Um, it is a big level. Once we're done here, we're going to have to go and deal with some stuff elsewhere. Um, which is why actually I am going to go into this building here. I want to pick up the extra sniper rifle ammo so that we can easily deal with the enemies later in the level. Because the amount of ammo that I have for the sniper is just not going to cut it right now. It looks like I have three shots left. So I'm just going to pick up all the sniper ammo here. And it's just a little shortcut here. Just of getting back down. I do lose a little bit of health. But I can deal with that. So that's that camera I was talking about that would have caught me killing the other guy. I'm going to pull out my silenced weapon now. There are some black suit red berets in this room here. And they see you through a window. Or through the wall, I don't know. But regardless, you really don't want to have to deal with them walking, uh, coming up behind you. Now the reason I used my silenced gun is that if I use an AK-47 or anything that makes noise, then the enemies in this room will hear it and they'll come after me. There you go. So now it's pretty, uh, pretty clear. There's one enemy down here in the basement. He was looking away, so that was an easy kill. Now this is where Yosef should be, but he's not. So the cell's empty. Um, so Yosef must have been taken away. Anya and Jones go on to have a little conversation. Um, basically, to sum it up, we kind of figure he must have been taken out by air. So I need to go to the airbase at the other end of the map to find the flight logs and grab myself some sort of air teleportation. Teleportation? No, not quite. Um, transportation. Transportation. So once again, same deal. Silence weapon on these guys. I'm going to clear out the bunker there so that I don't get killed from behind on my way out. And this is why I opened the door earlier, at the very beginning, over there. You can't... <coughs> I don't think you can open it from this side. I remember getting stuck before, trying to open it from this side, and having to take the long way. There is a guy in a room over here. I'll have to just be careful if I can. Maybe... Oh, right, that was the guy I that came out and attacked me in the beginning. Good, so he's gone. So that'll make that a little bit easier. Don't have to worry about him. So now we're traveling over to the airbase, uh, the flight control tower, so we can find the flight logs, figure out where Yosef is gone, and we'll grab a plane over there and get out of here. Now I do have to be somewhat careful in who I kill, when, and where here. Because this is where I was talking about. Yeah, see that the alarm's gone off already. That's fine. Um, there is a secondary alarm system. This alarm system is actually separate from the alarm system earlier in the level. Over, over there. Just kind of an interesting note. So if you do set off the alarm at the beginning, you don't really have to worry too much about the alarm having been set off over here, because it will not have been set off. So we get some more med packs. 
lots and lots of help from the med packs in this level if you need it. And I am going loud. There's really not too much concern for alerting guys now. I know where they all are. This guy, another in there. And then there's just two more in the tower. So for them I'm going to go loud. I'm going to use the AK. And I am, I'm hugging this corner here because one of the guys comes from the left from a set of stairs. I just want to make sure he can't if he heard me downstairs, then he would have, or he might have rather, come down preemptively, and he would have been standing at the left. He was not, that wasn't the case, probably because I was using the sniper rifle at the lower part here. But yeah, that's pretty much the level. I've, I've cleared it out, just need to make it to the jet fly myself on out of here. Pretty smooth run. I got hit a few times, but it's bound to happen. So that's okay. I didn't really need to use the med kits. I will though. Just cause. Yeah, I never really understood the med kits in this game. Like, it... I don't know. Maybe... I, I really don't know. Maybe it's some sort of serum being pumped into me that, that shoots out all the bullets that have gone into my system. I really don't know. <laughs> Anywho, here's the, uh, the jet, so enjoy the cutscene. We'll see you on the next Glover Place.